Welcome back to the uh, seven day pricing challenge. Uh, we're almost there. So you've gone through the first five days of this challenge and hopefully you're starting to shift the perceptions of your own business, how you're packaging up your products, what your value proposition is, and ultimately how much you're charging for your products and services. So it's day six and um, I'm gonna be talking about something called the customer lifetime value today. I'm gonna give you a very brief introduction and I want you to then in the workbook uh, work out what the average customer lifetime value is of your customers. And this will give you two pieces of information. So the first piece of information is how much is a client worth to you and how long do they stay for. The second piece of information that you can then garner from that is how much money are you going to spend on marketing in order to obtain that client. You can then also work out whether or how many clients you might need to achieve the goals that you set out on day number two. <laughs> and so here we go. So I'm gonna give you a very simple calculation. This will all be laid out and, and explained in the, uh, the worksheet afterwards. So it's made up of three different things. So for example, if you're charging for a product or a package, then you have a follow-up package which, or a support package which goes after that. You, the third piece of vital information then is how long those clients typically stay with you for. So for example, if your pa upfront package is a thousand pounds, and then you have a follow-up package which is 50 pound a month for support, and the client then stays with you on average for say 18 months, um, you can work out that the ongoing follow-up versus the churn accounts for 900 pounds, plus your thousand pounds for the upfront package, so it's that number, and then those two numbers. So your average customer lifetime value is £1,900. If we then ask ourselves, well, how much money? Now we know that the average client stays with us for 18 months and we're going to get close to £2,000 out of each and every one of our clients. Um, how much money are you going to spend on marketing in order to obtain those clients? Now, as part of that marketing spend, it could be some Facebook ads which you roll out. It could be putting on a free event, for example. Um, it, you know, like I did for the Fearless event, um, I had 76 people through the door, but I knew how many products I was going to sell on the day. So I knew that that event, provided I got two long-term one-to-one clients out of it, which I did, was going to be worth at least £6,000 to me. So I was willing to invest £1,000 on putting that event on in order to get those the £6,000 back that I'd already worked out the lifetime value of those clients from that event. So for example, for that £1,900, you might be willing to spend £300, for example, on marketing to those clients. Now, if I were to ask you to spend £300 on Facebook advertising, for example, you'd probably laugh in my face and say, bloody hell, that's a ridiculous amount of money. I've done Facebook ads and they don't work. But if you do it in a campaign-based environment, if I were to say, if you give me £300 and I'll get you a client worth £1,900, you would absolutely bite my arm off. And so it might be that, yes, that eats into that package upfront cost, or maybe if you don't have an upfront package and you just have a subscription-based service, it could be that you're willing to sacrifice the first five or six months worth of that, um, the recurring revenue, in order to, to secure that client for the following 12 plus months. And equally, um, if that churn rate is too low, so a lot of people aren't necessarily always aware of their numbers, so they don't know how long their clients stay with them for, um, and they don't know, um, you know, it may just be that you just have an upfront package and that's it. They don't then focus on getting that repeat business back and increasing that customer lifetime value. So if a client comes in and out and they don't repeat but purchase from you, there could be something that you're doing wrong or perhaps you're not remarketing to them or perhaps your offers aren't compelling enough. And you need to work out how to build um, uh, compelling offers to retarget people and market people as well as collect new clients because it's actually the clients who keep on coming back time and time again that you create that um, that customer loyalty through and they refer people into your business so simple exercise on the worksheet um, if you charge up front for your packages how much is that what's your support package that comes thereafter and how long on average do your clients stay with you uh, multi add and multiply those uh, three figures together to get your customer lifetime value and then just ask yourself this question how much money would I be willing to spend in order to get that client so that's day six so we've just got one more day to go um, and don't forget to complete the worksheet share it in the groups um, let's uh, be accountable to one another and give each other some tips and advice and things like that um, if you've got any questions do fire them across to me and then I will see you again for the final day, day seven, tomorrow.